Welcome back to Tech Garage, brought to you by rockauto.com. Now this garage ed segment, we're talking starters. Now what is a starter? Well, it converts electrical energy into mechanical energy to start your car. How does it do that? Well, it's all science, my friends. I knew I wore this jacket for a reason. Let's go back to science class. It's about magnetism. You can see our magnets right here. You remember like charges and then unlike charges. So what's happening, we're getting repel and we're getting repulsion. That's how a starter motor works. It's all about that left-hand law of flux, and I can show it to you right here in action as well. I got a little battery and a wire right here, and if I touch it, there's actually lines of flux going inside of there, and you see it wants to push it out. Now, if I reverse the polarity and I push it the other way, it wants to push it the other way. So it's all about that push-pull, push-pull, push-pull. Now, my simple motor, if I hook it up, You'll see I got two little commutators here that's going to an armature and it spins. Now the cool part is bi-directional motor. So if I turn this around, it spins the other way. So it's all about that push-pull. Take a look at this animation. It shows it's actually feeding into the commutator voltage and it's spinning around. And when it spins around, you got the north and the south magnets there. And as it spins, it wants to push it out of its field of lines of flux and then draw it in and then push, pull, push, pull. That's how it works. Now it draws a lot of electricity to do that. Let's take a look inside a couple of starters. I have two of them. I have an actual permanent magnet starter and I have a field coil starter right here. And it all starts right here at the brushes. Now the brush go right here and it feeds the power to what's called the commutator right here and then it goes to this armature portion. Now it has a lot of little armature segments on here so it can push, pull, push, pull. Inside of our big one here you can actually see the field coils. They get electrified. That's why it's so big because I need the power in order to do it. I get both of them powered up and I can go ahead and start the car. How do we do that? Well we do it with a solenoid right here. I got two terminals. You energize the battery. Bam! The contacts go over. The high amps start. This guy starts to work. Now, we've come far with starters, and we're talking about permanent magnet starters now. They're a lot smaller. You can see it right here. There's actually no energization going on inside of here. It's just regular magnets, and they're fixed. Well, this guy's a lot closer, and he's a lot smaller, but he does the job. How does he do the job? Called gear reduction. That's pretty cool. So if I pull this off right here, you can actually see right there. There's a couple of planet gears. The sun gear goes right inside of here, and what we get when we spin it is gear reduction. Check this out. I got a line right here and a line right here. And as I start to spin it, you can count them. The armature went once, twice, three times, four times. We're still not there. Almost four, four and a half times around before that pinion went one time. That's massive gear reduction. So I don't have to use a bigger starter. I can go ahead and put it in a small case. But with that comes some problems. You know, it gets close to there. It starts to short out. We'll look at some service in the next episode when it's coming up. Got one cutaway right here. You can see everything in there. You got your field poles. You got your armature all built. You got your pinion right here, which drives out and engages your flywheel. And then you got your solenoid right there. Now, Rock Auto has an awesome selection of starters and starter components. Let's check it out with Tom. Well, Tom, we looked inside of a starter, and I know there's folks out there that have an old vehicle that maybe they just don't want to replace the whole starter with a remand or a new starter. Do you have an option on here to go ahead and rebuild that thing? People do still take them apart. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, some starters are prone to the brushes wear out. or So yeah, yeah we have the brushes, we have the uh, bushings, have the solenoids, and, and then we have remanufactured starters that have been fixed. Uh, something that's been out the, I don't know, it's probably the last decade now is completely new starters for old cars. So you can start from scratch, you don't have to return a core, which is especially handy with Rock Auto, you don't have to ship a core back to us. Right. Hey, what about this um, start-stop technology? Now, those things are getting costly. I mean, we're dealing with Rock Auto, we're going to get huge savings that multiplies. Right. Yeah, you think those things are, are have to start the car every time you come to a stoplight, and I mean the the wear and tear, the uh, bulk of the starter, the the price goes way up, and you can save a lot buying those at RockAuto.com. No doubt. What's a little heart here? We got a little heart. Is that a popular solenoid or? Yeah, parts that uh, customers frequently choose and and infrequently return, we mark with little hearts, and that can help you as you're. We have a huge selection of most parts. You have a choice of. of different brands and, and prices and specifications so the heart can give you a clue what has worked on other customers cars what they've been happy with and and help you make your selection perfect tom i'll tell you what you join me next week we're going to do some starter diagnosing but stick around we got plenty more tech garage presented by rockauto.com right after this break